Assalamualaikum and good morning. Today, I will continue to teach you another topic for the adjustments. That is unearned revenues. So, what is unearned revenues? Unearned revenues is one of adjustment which the cash received by the company but recorded as liability because the company does not perform the service yet. So, at the end of the accounting period, the company need to make an adjustment to record the actual revenue. So, unearned revenues often occurs in regards to rents, airline tickets, magazine subscriptions, and customer deposits. So, we look at back to the illustration as shown before. So, during the cash receipt, the company will record the transactions uh, either as revenue or liability. So, the general entry will be debit cash or bank and at the credit side will be revenue or liability and the record is depends to the company either they want to record as revenue or liability however the NAS made adjustment at the end of a quoting period to record the actual revenue so during the trial balance the figure will appear according to the transaction that recorded during the transactions so, at the end of the accounting period, when the company made the adjustments, there will be two types of adjustment that will be made. It depends to the company how they record during the transactions. So, the general entry could be in the two ways. First, debits unearned service revenue and credit service revenue or debit service revenue and will credit unearned service revenue. So, we look at to the first examples. Pioneer Advertising received RM1200 on 2nd October 2020 from Salman for advertising services expected to be completed by 31st January 2021. Unearned service revenue shows balance of RM1200 in the trial balance as at 31st December 2020. Analysis reveals that company performs RM800 of services in 2020. We know to show the general entry to record the adjustments. So, as the question stated, the company recorded the cash received as liability. So, during the trial balance, it shown as the unearned service revenue accounts at the credit side as RM1200. So, what we're going to do now, we need to find the actual revenue at the end of the accounting period. So, uh, what we're going to do now, we need to find how much the revenue should be recorded during the adjustment. So, as the question stated, the company had performed RM800 services in 2020. Means that we need to record adjustment for revenue since service revenue not record yet. So, we need to find how much the amount of service revenue need to record. Yes, the answer is RM800. So, how you want to generalize? So, for the generalized entry, we need to record the revenue first. Since revenue is credits, we will place the service revenue account at the credit side. While at the debit side, we will record as unearned service revenue RM800. Then, the adjustment record will be completed. Consequence for this record, we need to reduce the liability by 800 ringgit and the general entry will be reflect to the amounts of liability later during the adjustment. Next, we're going to discuss for another examples. We will use the same examples, but for this for this time, for the cash receipt, we will record it as the revenue. So, at the trial balance, it should be. Uh, service revenue accounts at the credit side are in 1200 so we need to find how much the liability that will be recorded during the adjustment so as the question stated the company had performed rm 700 services in 2020 means that we need to record adjustment for liability since unearned service revenue not record yet how much the amount of unearned service revenue need to record? So, 
The total SIPs for of service revenue is RM1200 which the company recorded as a service revenue account. But for the accounting period until 31st December 2020, the company only service performed the services RM700. So during the adjustment date, we need to find how much for service revenue and how much for the unearned service revenue for the liability. So, we had made the calculations that the service revenue should be recorded as RM700 while for unearned service revenue is RM500. But now, how we want to generalize? So, we need to recognize liability first as unearned service revenue. Since liability is credit, we need to place unearned service revenue account at the credit sites. While at the debit sites, we record as a service revenue, then the adjustment will be made to, to find the actual amount for the revenue that could be recognized for that year. So that's all for today. Thank you.